Hi guys, it's me Faye here at Faye Dusk. Happy Ostara! Like, oh my god, the wheel is turned again. Oh, I just love it, it's just so exciting. But before we get into this video, let's just take a moment to appreciate my spring outfit. Like, I did try, well, I woke up this morning before work and I thought, oh my god, like it's a officially Ostara, although I always choose to celebrate each of the equinoxes or solstices on the 21st, but this year in 2018 Ostara is actually on the 20th, so today, the day I'm actually filming, which is also cool as I like to try and film my Sabbath videos on or as near to the Sabbath as possible, I just feel like for myself it's more like authentic, but uh, anyway, yeah, so I thought it's probably a bit cold out today, but it's Astara, it's officially the first day of spring, like, I need to get my spring game on, so I decided to wear this cardigan, which I love, it's really pretty, it's like a dusky pink, and it's got embroidery, embroidered flowers on both of the arms, and then this, uh, floaty a uh, sort of strappy vest top but it's got ties at the top and it's just got really pretty flowers and butterflies all down it so yes I sort of felt nice and spring like today even though I mean the weather it was sunny today I mean in England we have we tend to for a long time now because of global warming and everything we have been having really really mild winters but this winter we have not had mild winter we have actually had a really cold winter and we've actually had four lots of snow this winter which in England like never happened like if we have one lot of snow like relatively bad snow like it's like wow last time we had bad snow in England I think it was must be about eight years ago and yeah, so we had four lots of snow, the last lot of snow we had was last weekend. So yeah, so it's pretty crazy and I'm running off on a tangent anyway. So let me rein that back in. So since it's Ostara and also as well, I would love to know how you honor the Sabbath, if you do anything special for it or uh, if you have your altar decorated special, or anything like that, I would love, love, love to see it. Um, wow, I literally went blank then. But yeah, so we're doing one of my Sabbath 101 series, and obviously it's Ostara, so we're doing Ostara, and yeah, let me get into it. If you see me looking down, I have some notes and things, so uh, yeah, so I'll try not to look down, but if I do, that's why. So let's get started. So Ostara, for uh, those of you that know, I assume most of you know, unless you're new to the path, is that it is the also known as the spring equinox so it falls on or around between about between the 20th and the 23rd of march um it varies slightly i think it i'm not too sure is, is it something to do with the uh planetary alignments or something i don't know if you know why the equinox uh, equinox and the solstice vary slightly then please let me know because i really don't know why but i personally just personal preference i like to celebrate um ostara on the 21st of march years just a personal preference of mine like i said at the beginning of my video it's actually fallen on the 20th this year which is today so a star of blessings to you and the equinox is a day or a time where day and night are of equal length so a star of today the length of the day and the length of the night are equal like um so day is not longer than night and nights are longer than day on today okay and we are starting to move forward to getting the uh, lighter evenings and uh, uh, weather starting to get warmer and obviously it's a very gradual process but that's what we're starting to slowly turn towards. I don't know if you've noticed but it's a flowers, flowers are starting to spring up again, trees are, um, trees are starting to regrow their leaves. Uh, in England, we've had a lot of daffodils and things like that shoot through. It's always a very um, prominent sign of spring in England. 
and it's also all about renewal and rebirth and uh, growth. And as the um, the earth is awakening from her winter slumber and a lot of uh, people or a lot of gardeners and things will choose now to plan their gardens for the up and coming year and to uh, plant the seeds and it's a great time to be setting uh, goals as well as you can set your goals now and watch them come into fruition as the year progresses some of the magical elements associated with Ostara are for goddesses and gods. You're looking at uh, Aphrodite, uh, Gaia, Pan, Cernos, I always say that wrong, and Green Man, and S3, oh, I always say it wrong. Uh, the goddess that is associated legend um, with Ostara is about E O S T R E. I can never say it, ever say it. The sort of colours that you may want to choose to decorate your altar with or bring into your home or things like that that are usually traditionally associated with this Sabbath are whites and yellows and greens and purples and sort of uh, light blues and like duck egg blues and white, I've said white, duh, <laughs> and brown, sort of all sort of springy, earthy, renewal colours, like vibrant, sort of light colours, sort of like your pastel colours, you, your sort of more vibrant colours sort of start to go more into as you get sort of closer to like Lithia and things like that, but now you're sort of getting your sort of springy colours back, back in. Uh, things that you could use to decorate your altar. This Sabbath is also um, heavily associated with the start of uh, fertility, like um, fertility um, spells and rituals and things like that. So symbols of fertility, things like eggs, um, and obviously with uh, bunnies and hares, uh, sort of flowers like your daffodils, tulips and things like that. And speaking of fertility, Egg, oh, eggs that you might use. I have have these pretty. They're uh, like plastic eggs. They're like decor, um, Easter decor. So I have a bag of these, and I sort of spread them around my room and put them on my altar. I like to put them on an Ostara and leave them on. I have them on for Beltane as well, and. And I sort of take them off then. But that's another thing for decorating your altar. Um, if you're wanting to uh, seasonally decorate it for the Sabbath and the season. It's a very good idea to uh, look in uh, supermarkets. Like places like HomeSense. Like uh, your discount stores. Like your pound stores and your dollar stores and things like that as a lot of places have all their Easter decor out, which is uh, borrows from the sort of uh, pagan sort of symbolism. So there's a lot of um, really pretty things that you can get, like eggs, you can get like images of <clears throat> little bunnies, like flowers, like all different kinds of things. And you can also get them really cheap. So it's a really good idea to sort of stock up on all that sort of thing and then you always have them and then you can sort of whip them out and decorate your altar when you want to. So, uh, I gotta look down again because I've just gone off of what I needed because I put I put some notes, I'd, uh, I had to spare five minutes earlier and I didn't have pen and paper with me, I had on my phone so I sort of write that up on my phone. Right, so let me stop getting distracted. Let me stop getting distracted I'm coming don't okay right so uh also as well Ostara sort of symbolizes a sort of like it's all about balance as well because it's the equinox and night and day of equal length so it's sort of very much about balance and again like I've said the returning of the sun and everything coming back to life uh so I've sort of touched on a little bit about the magical elements of Ostara so sort of I will go do a few more correspondences I uh, sort of skipped out a few things so for animals associate associations you'd associate with Ostara you got things like your rabbits 
lambs the breed start lambing season soon um uh i said bunny rabbits i say like chickens as well like little baby chickens uh the colors more colors i forgot as well pastel green like i've said it's all your pastel colors your pinks uh purples crystals that you'd associate with astara rose quartz moonstone um or different types of agate crystals different sort of foods that you may want to eat around this time or incorporate uh, 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 can't talk or incorporate in your rituals uh things like potatoes uh cakes eggs any sort of dairy type things anything sort of with honey things like that herbs that you may want to either use in your spells or rituals or incorporate in decorating your altar or putting into food however you want to incorporate them lavender sort of lilac crocus uh rose hip and then i've already saw and then another couple of gods i missed out on when i said god when i was talking about uh gods that you'd associate with this uh sabbath um apollo is another god and adonis and odin as well and then I've already turned Persephone and Freya and Isis as well for goddesses that I missed out on. What else did I have for you? Um, different types of activities uh, that you may want to do, uh, incorporate with the rituals and things like that for Astara is uh, dyeing and decorating eggs. I love to decorate eggs for a star. I just really enjoy it. You can get loads of really nice natural sort of food colorings and dyes and things like that. And you can use stencils or freehand or however you want to decorate them. So you can just hard boil some eggs and then go to town decorating them. Um, hot cross buns, baking hot cross buns. That's always a fun and festive thing to do this time of year. And I love hot cross buns and the smell is so good. Since it's officially spring spring cleaning your home is a pretty good idea if you haven't already if you haven't already done a spring clean or you did a clean early in the year and you're sort of feeling like things are starting to get a bit stagnant again now uh yeah i just like to give everything a little bit of a spruce up and uh <coughs> declutter again to sort of to get rid of all the old stuff and make way for the new abundance that i want in my life decorating your altar uh making dishes with different dishes with egg in them to symbol symbolize sort of fertility and uh growth and all that sort of thing um put fresh colorful pretty flowers bring them inside or plant something pretty that's going to be pretty and beautiful also it's a good time to plan your fairy garden and i will do a video soon all about fairy gardens so yeah so that sounds pretty damn good to me so i touched on decorating your altar for ostara some of the things that you may want to include on your altars i know that it's a star and now but it's never too late to decorate your altar so the color scheme we're sort of are going with the sort of pastel colors eggs a basket as well like um like you get like a pretty little wicker easter basket put eggs you could put your eggs that you decorate in that or eggs that you buy or whatever um, beautiful fresh flowers you could get daffodils or tulips or crocuses or anything like that really pretty fresh flowers um different seeds and bulbs you may want to include on your altar uh different types of uh, different candles and tea lights that may be scented with light or you could scent or maybe scented with lavender lilac things like that uh that could be in pretty pastel colors uh you could make or buy like a fake bird's nest um images or um little figurines of rabbits or chickens uh incense you could get something nice and pretty and floral uh you could you could decorate with the different with different crystals or with different types of moonstone or different agates or rose quartz 
and yeah so I feel like again 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 I have rambled because that just seems to be what I do but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I gave you <clears throat> A little bit a very very brief rundown on this sabbat so I'm I'll have to check but I think I'm pretty much coming up to nearing the end of my Sabbath 101 series so once I reach the last sabbat which I think maybe actually I'm not nearing it well I think actually I think it may be Maybon so maybe I'm not yeah I've still got still got a couple still got a couple of sabbats left but once I have reached the end of that, I will do a more in-depth Sabbath series. So then moving on each Sabbath, I will go more in-depth about the history of the Sabbath. And I'll give you different spells and rituals and things like that I actually like to do and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'd love to know what plans you have for Astara. And yeah, so put them in the comments and I will see you very soon in my next video. Blessed be. Mwah.